What's going on guys? Knight here. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Super Suga Fest that's going to be the 7th anniversary banner. And on this banner, there's going to be four parts. The first part is going to have all legends available minus the uh, three uh, Suga exclusive legends. Sanji put in Capone, Crew, and also the PvP Anel. So you won't be able to pull them on any parts of the Suga Fest for that first part, but you'll will be able to pull all legends, including Bonnie, but note that Bonnie isn't rated up. She's just going to be available, so you're probably not going to pull her. But going on that fact, let's look at all the steps for the Suga Fest. So on the first part, you're going to be, the first multi is going to be 30 gems. The second multi is going to guarantee you one of the three new limited rare crew waifus, Rebecca, Shirahoshi, or Reiju. On multi three, four, five, 13, 17, 23, and 28th, you're going to be guaranteed a legend. On the 6th, 10th, 15th, and 25th, you're going to be guaranteed a, a rated up legend. On the 7th multi, you're going to be guaranteed a 35% chance of getting a red. The 8th, 9th, 11th, 12th, 14th, 16th, 18th, 19th, 21st, 22nd, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 29th is going to be a guaranteed rated up character. The 20th multi is going to guarantee you a Super Sega Fest legend, so you have the chance of getting Roger Odin or the brand new three legends. And on the 30th multi, you're going to be guaranteed one of the new Super Sega Fest legends. So the rated up characters on part one are going to be the Super, the brand new Luffy, the brand new Law, the brand new Kit, Moria, Roger Odin, V2 Shirohoshi, Manishiri. Jerma, Smoker, Super Type Sabo, V3 Ray, Arlong Crew, Nami Robin, Osoba Mask, Halloween Ace, Kaido, Sabo Koala, V2 Katakuri, Carrot, and also Whitebeard Marco. On part two, three, and four, these are going to be the parts where you can get guaranteed one of the legends of your desire. So part two is going to have Luffy, part three is going to have Law, and part four is going to have Kit. Also, on that second multi, similar to the multi on the first part, you're going to be guaranteed one of the LRR waifu. So, on part two, you're going to get Rebecca. On part three, you're going to get Shirahoshi. In part four, you're going to get Reiju. So, first multi, 30 gems. Second multi, one of the waifus, depending on which part you pull on. Multi 3, 6, 13, 16, and 24 is going to be guaranteed a legend. Multi 4, 5, 8, 9, 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23 is guaranteed either a legend or a rated up unit. Multi 7th and 20th are going to be a super limited legend pool. And the super limited legend pool on part 2 is going to be the... Brand new Luffy, Quick Magellan, Quick Kaido, Roger, Odin, Halloween Shanks, V3 Boa, and V3 Katakuri. On part three, it's going to be the brand new Law, V3 Blackbeard, V3 Zoro, Roger, Odin, Big Mom Kaido, Halloween Mihawk, and V2 Snake Man. And on part four, it's going to be Kid, Asakaini, Roger, Odin, V2, VV Becca, Halloween Law, Luffy, and Sanji, and V2 Blackbeard. And on multi-10, you're going to be guaranteed on the final poster a limited legend pool. And this pool on part two includes Luffy, Quick Magellan, Quick Kaido, Roger, Odin, Halloween Shanks, V3 Boa, V3 Katakuri, Dex Kid, V3 Kuzan, Shanks Crew, Pudding, Kamurasaki, V1 Shirohoshi Manchuri, and V1 Vivi Becca. On part three, it's going to have New Law, V3 Blackbeard, V3 Zoro, Roger, Odin, Big Mom and Kaido, Halloween Mihawk, Hawkins, V2 Snake Man, Luffy and Zoro, Chopper, Stampy, Luffy, Neko and Inu, V2 Mihawk, and Sanji and Puddin. And on part four, it's going to have Brand New Kid, Ace and Akainu, Roger and Odin, V2, VV Becca, Halloween Law, Luffy and Sanji, Sweet Commanders, V3 Law, Sugar, V2 Blackbeard, Miyok and Perona, V2 Nami, Bullet, and the uh, 
V2 Big Mom. And on the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is wrong. Um, it's not on the 30th multi that the brand new super type... Um, the brand new Super Sega Legends are guaranteed. They're guaranteed on the 25th multi on their respective parts, not the 30th. The 30th multi is only on the first part, so Poner, you wrote this incorrectly. And yeah, that's it for this. Um, just note that on the first part is going to be the also the only part where all three of the brand new rare recruits are going to be rated up on. On part two, three, and four, they're going to be separated to their own respective parts, which is kind of dumb, but it is what it is, and it's not really that good in my opinion. Anyways, we finally also finished the brand new Twitter event, so we will be getting three additional free multis starting on the 35th of May. There's going to be another one on the 1st of June and also another one on the 2nd of June. And I'm not 100% sure, but they could potentially be on this anniversary Sega Fest. They haven't confirmed it or not. Also, next week on the 18th for, for the U.S., the next, actually it'll be on the 19th. On the 19th for the U.S., there's going to be the next treasure map is going to happen. And I'm pretty sure all the brand new waifu characters are going to be the highest point boosters for that treasure map. So make sure you try to obtain those characters at least. Do 80 gems on all three parts because they're probably going to be the highest point boosters. Also, um, they didn't post it in the news, but at the end of the month, there's going to be a brand new... Uh, oh, here it is. The Pirate Alliance Kizuna is going to happen at the end of May, so make sure that you're in a Pirate Alliance before then. You're not going to be able to move um, alliances or you can't um, kick people out of alliances during the Kizuna. So if you want to kick someone or leave a alliance, make sure that you do it before. So. so that's it for all the information that we know about the Sego Fest and what's going on. There's also going to be some gem sales, so if you do want to buy gems, there's plenty of good sales, but uh, steps aren't the best. Also, I don't know if any other YouTubers talked about it, but there's going to be a Taona Gashima event going on, and here you're going to be getting the brand new tab tablet, but you're only going to be receiving one of these, so make sure to either... They're guaranteed, I believe, so make sure to either save them for whatever unit you're planning to pull for, or just save them in general, as they're going to be pretty rare to acquire, because they're not going to be available in Treasure Map, and they're only going to be limited to special events. From this Onigashima event, you can also receive the copies of the Big Mom Kaido and their LB materials. You're going to get a within a year red ticket when you get the max amount of um, coins or whatever the little stamp thing that you're supposed to collect from this island you're going to also get 80 gems from this event as well if you max it out nine gold tickets and then you're going to get a couple stamp refills so that's pretty much all that we know for this event they also released the uh, final tap potentials for all the characters and uh, you should note that you're going to start out at level 1 for all of these um, brand new Super Sego units. So level 1 for Luffy is going to be base 300 attack for himself. Level 1 for Law is going to add additionally 5% of the enemy's HP to the total damage. And for Kid, his own normal attack will attack all enemies. So make sure to keep all of this in mind when you're pulling for these legends. And they are trying to get you to pull for multiple copies of the legends. As you're going to want to have eventually the max last tap ability for all of these legends. But I wouldn't recommend going super deep just to get all of them. I would say try to get 
if you are going for one, get one and done, and then use the new tablet on them, or just save them up until you can max one of them. So, that's my thoughts on all the Sego stuff coming up. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.